name is Alan Adams and today I'm going to show you how to make a birdhouse. I got these cedar planks right here. These are actually fencing material that I purchased from Lowe's a couple days ago. Uh, let them sit out here in the shed for a couple days because they are a little damp. Um, so make sure when you use these they have a little staple in there, and you do not want that to get in your saw. So I let it sit out a couple days. Now we're ready to make a birdhouse, and uh, I'll show you the cuts that you need to make. Okay, with this particular design, I'm using a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch. First piece of cedar fencing. It does have the dog ears on the end. But we'll show you how to work around that. What you're gonna do is you want to cut one, two, three, four pieces, nine inches long. You want to cut two pieces, six inches long, and that allows for that little piece of gap between the roof and the wall, so you can have ventilation in your birdhouse. Then you should have an extra piece or two that you can use for the bottom. Okay, I'm going to try to show you this here. This is a little trick that I use or advice I'm going to give you. When I'm measuring these out, so I'll go ahead in the corner here, I'll write a 9. Now because a 9 upside down would be a 6, I'll draw a line under it. I do it on every one. There. There. And I'll just go ahead and put a little six right here to line under it too. Just so I don't get confused. So after hand saw on these pieces here, with this cheap one dollar saw from the Dollar Tree. It's cheap. It works. Way better than this saw. Or that one. It takes forever on those. And for reasons unknown to me, this Ryobi, Ryobi BS903 keeps breaking the blades. I put two in it so far and they break. This thing vibrates really bad. It's like I have to chase it around the workbench here. It's dirty now, but it was cleaned out. Everything was right, you know. Had the blade set to where the teeth were in the middle of the tires. I don't know. Anyway, back to this. Got four pieces, nine inches long, and I forget how wide these are. Five and a half inches, just like I said, standard fencing material. Uh, what you want to do is basically, I says you're going to take this, you're going to find the middle, you're going to cut a 45 like that, you're going to put your hole right here in the middle, that's going to be your front, and you're going to cut the roof line out on this, this is going to be the back. And these are going to be your sides, or your roof. And the way you want to do this is you want to take one of these, put it up on the side. Measure the thickness. Then you want to draw a line all the way down. Then you want to cut that off. So that way when you butt it up, it's accurately the uh, same length on the other side. So we'll do that and then come right back. Okay, now you can see I've taken this board. Put it up to here. Maybe you didn't see that. Put it up to there. And I got my width. So I'll draw me a line. Now I'm going to cut this off and save this. Okay. Got that cut off. Clean it up a little bit on the sander. Now, being like that. Perfect. 
Yeah, almost. Anyway, what I'm going to do is on the side that I'm going to nail, take my old trusty hammer, and these nails right here. You can probably see the number there. These are, uh, Walmart's calling them wire nails. They are, they are uh, 16 gauge, one and a half inch nails. NB-95. That cost me $1.95. Anyway, I'm going to put those, one, two, three, maybe four in here. But what I'm going to do, drill and run a little small hole in there that way it don't crack the wood. Anyway what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some wood glue. I use Gorilla Glue because it's the cheapest thing at Walmart. And what we're gonna do is on this side, this is the side that we cut off. Uh, Put it on the sander just for a little bit to smooth out the surface that way. It's not crooked or anything when we put it on. We'll put a little bit of glue on that and we'll go ahead and nail that up. This will be the roof. <coughs> now this here is going to be our back piece. So what we're going to do is, this is going to be the outside of the back. So we're going to flip it over. This is going to be our inside. So I just want to go ahead and just take a pencil. Somewhere and just write a B for back. So we don't get confused. And where to go. And sometimes I will go ahead and write a B down here. That way I know that's the bottom. So we're going to measure halfway. So if it's five and a half, that'd be 2.75. Okay, so after you cut out your pieces, this is going to be the front inside. This is going to be the back inside. So after we go ahead, we went ahead and cut them out. Went ahead and uh, touched them up a little bit on the sander. Kind of dry fitted them. Make sure everything would fit. And uh, if I can show you this. As you can see, everything fits just good. Real good. That in there is almost perfect. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and drill this hole, and be right back. Okay, we did here, we went ahead and dry fitted this. You kind of see how everything's going to look. This way. And there still is no bottom, but I do have this piece of dog eared. That's what we're going to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, be flush with the back. I'm going to leave this here for a little perch, a little porch, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill the hole, put some sandpaper on the inside, clear up the jagged edges, and the side pieces here. Okay, this is the sawed side. This is the not sawed side, if you will. We're going to use the factory edge for the bottom top of this wall. Then when you put this on, as you can see, there's this little gap. And that's just to get some airflow and keep everything dry on the inside. Okay, I'm going to glue this up. We would pre-drill our holes. And you pre-drill them to where, when we match this up, we leave this little bit of space here on it. We're going to go ahead and connect the rest of those right now. Okay, here I went ahead and attached the base to it. I just drilled some pilot holes. Uh, drilled some nails up through there. I did initially put it on backwards. You know, most people don't like to admit their faults, but I did. I put it on backwards, so I had to take it back off, flip it around. I did have a nail bust through here. But that's an easy fix. So now what we're going to do, we're going to attach the roof. To the birdhouse. 
Yes, I did cut myself. Now, on the back, what we want to do, make sure we let it overhang just a little bit. That way the front has this little bit of overhang to, you know, kind of give the porch a little relief from the rain. What we do, we're going to go ahead and drill two pilot holes and uh, I'll show you how that is. Okay, when you're down the roof on, what you want to do is you want to take something, finger, pencil, you know, if you don't have a ruler, you just take that and put it all the way up to there. When you do that, put your thumb right there on the end of it. That way you know where the board starts. Then you know to come over just a little bit, make you a little mark and go ahead and drill that hole. So we're going to do that right here. I'll show you with a pencil what I'm talking about. So we know that far is where we want to go. And so we want to come over about right here and drill our hole. do is because I don't have a dowel at the moment is I'll just go ahead and drill me a hole right here and drill it pretty straight now I'll take just a regular nail regular galvanized nail Drive it in a little bit. Now, the reason why I drive it in so far is the birds have this also on the other side so they can get out. So, this is the finished product here. You get your little spaces there. At the back, yeah. Sometimes, what I'll do if I'm going to paint it or if I'm going to put finish on it is I'll take the nail like I just had for that uh, perch here. I'll go ahead and get another one to show you, and I'll put it on this little thing that I made. Do this so it gives it kind of a flat point. And what I'll do is I'll center it up right there and I'll punch it in a little, little bit up on the surface and that's how it's well, That's about it. That's how I made that birdhouse. Um, there's millions of ways that you can build a birdhouse but that's just the way I chose to do it. It's fast, it's easy, simple. Anybody can build it. I mean even if it is just a You know, dollar store saw. I mean, it does cut pretty good. You have to watch out a little bit on the top because it is a little sharp. Because I did cut myself. 